Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to have another quiz on Informatica MDM topics. So far we have seen the various topics such as MDM Hub Configuration, Match and Merge, IDD, etc. So we will have this session on similar topics. I hope you will enjoy this and we will have some fun too. So let's start today's quiz. The very first question for today's quiz is to create an outbound message from the hub you need to explicitly run a bad job. Is it true statement or is it false statement? I'm sure you got the correct answer. The correct answer is it is false. We don't need to run any bad job explicitly. It will be taken care by the JMS configure. Next, what does the hub utilizes to keep track of the changes that have been made to base objects? So where these changes are maintained? Oh, this is a very good question and also it is informative because when you start doing development you need to track what changes happen over the period of time on those base objects. So where you can track that? Option 1 create a cross reference table option 2 create staging tables option C history table option D match table so if, you're, if any update happens on that record where the track is maintained whether it's in xref or staging or history or match table and the correct answer is history table where you can see the all the updates happen over the period of time which is the result of child records if requeue on parent merge is selected option one they will automatically merge when the parent record merge they will never merge when parent record merge they will be resubmitted for the match if the parent record merge they will unmerge when parent records merge i'm sure you got the question and all the options available the correct answer is they will resubmit it for the match if parent records merge next question why ors binding used in idd this is another question which should which will not just for the quiz purpose this will give you more information why we do the ors binding when you configure idd application it is to validate the idd application configuration it is to tightly connect the idd configuration to the underlying oracle instance it is to fetch metadata about ors and option D is to indicate the ORS to which application connect. I hope you choose correct option or all the options are correct. The correct options are the ORS binding is used in IDD to validate the application configuration as well as to fetch the metadata about the ORS. We cannot have a tightly coupled IDD application with Oracle instance because Oracle instance is continuously changes. So if something changes there, we don't have to make we we don't have to deploy the or make changes in IDD application. That's the reason option B is not true, and option D is also not true. We are not connecting ORS through IDD. It is just like it's a binding happens. Next question: Build match groups removes the redundant matches before consolidation is it true or is it false the correct answer is it is true build match groups removes the redundant matches that's the reason we have transitive matches so for example one record one matches with two two matches with three three matches with four at the end of match results it will show as like two matches to one and three matches to one and four matches to one rather than their transitive matching so that's the reason 
build match groups remove the redundant matches what is not done by the trust framework i hope you got the question it's not done it by the trust framework option a it identifies relative reliability of data by the sources it provides it provides for declining data reliability as it ages account for the frequency of data changes compare match key between sources i, I hope you got the options and the correct answer is compares the match key between the sources so the trust framework is not responsible for comparing match keys the match key comparison happen during the match job not during the trust calculation hence the option d is correct next question the schema viewer displays physical data model configuration in the hub is it true or is it false and the correct answer is yes it is true we can see the physical data model configuration next question is sam that is security access manager in the mdm allows protection of the wide range of the hub objects and the data including base object related attribute tables packages columns mappings functions and match rule set etc is it true or is it false i'm 100% sure you got the right answer and that is true so all this access management happen in sam next question is which of the following data types are permissible for global id column integer character varchar number n varchar or n char so these are the options available which options are correct for global id the allowable or permissible data types are integer char varchar and n varchar number are not allowed for global id put packages require queries that include multiple base object include at least four columns include the raw id object include aggregate function or all of the above the correct answer is of course which include the raw id object that is option c next question packages are used to control access to data for third party application that use sif that is services integration framework to access hub functionality and resources control how data stewards view data in the merge manager and data manager enable hierarchy manager to view data enable idd users to view data and manage data i hope you got the question and the options available the last last option is all the above statements are correct and the correct answer is yes the packages are used for sif that is service authentication framework it is also used for merge manager and data manager for hierarchy management also we need the packages and data users or idd users use the idd application which internally uses this packages the consolidation indicator it is a column in the base object and cross reference table hmm. option b is a user defined call number or user defined column option c it tracks the status of individual base object record as they progress through the hub processes must be 4321 or 9 or all the options are correct and the correct answer is option c and d it tracks the status of individual base object records as they progress through the hub processes that is consolidation process and must have value 1 2 3 4 and or 9 next question it's related to trust 
it is used to rank records between sources ranks the column between sources must be set for every column in base object can vary over the time for a given source record column and all of the above options are correct i think you got the right answer the right answer related to trust is trust ranks the column between the sources it can vary over the time for a given source record column next question is there may be a separate landing table for every source is it true or is it false the answer is false there may not be separate landing table for every source we can include all the sources in single table also single landing table also hence the correct answer is false next question the landing table format must be same as a source table format is it true or is it false this is not mandatory to have the landing table structure same as a source table sometimes some project they keep the format same as a source to have the consistency or to have the easiness in tracing back the record in the source by using landing table however it is not mandatory it, it is it should not be a mess condition it can be but it it must must not be it is the statement here is uh, mentioned in the wrong way or it's in other way the landing table format must be the same as the source table format it can be but it must not be means it is not mandatory to have the same format as a source that's the underlying thing staging tables are derived from landing tables derived from base object used to prepare data for landing used to prepare data for loading the next option is associated with the single source the correct op uh, options are it is derived from base object it is used for prepare the data for loading because when you run the load job the data will be used from landing uh, from staging table and pushed into the base object table and of course it is associated with a single source if you have the three sources there will be three staging table that's the underlying principle the reject table contains records that have a future date or null in last update date column which have a null in the pk source column how duplicate pk source object how duplicate values in unique field or all the above the correct answer is of course all of the above next question validation rules can increase or decrease the trust very interesting question is it true or is it false the correct answer is false we cannot decrease the trust sorry we cannot increase the trust we can decrease the trust but we cannot increase hence the answer is false next question if the allow null foreign key checkbox is selected for staging table it accept the record with valid lookup values it accept the records with a null foreign keys and permits load insert the update updates for these records reject the record with invalid foreign keys insert rejected record into the reject table all of the above the correct answer is all of the above so these are the questions for today's quiz i hope you enjoyed this quiz i'm sure you must got the additional information and new knowledge about informatica mdm if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you for watching this space have a nice time